is in this house tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You still got to understand church that numbers are special. Numbers are special. I'm going to talk about five, but I, I'm, I'm going to also talk about seven going closer down to the end of the service because I hear God say seven, 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 seven. Seven is the number of completion. Seven means that it is already done. My God, when I look at five, five means grace and grace means favor. My God. So I want to tell somebody this week that God has favor upon your life. God has favor me in such a way that I I just have to give him the praise. I just have to give him the glory. I have nothing holding back. When I look that I'm coming out of the garbage heap, I have to say, thank you, Jesus. My God, I have to say, thank you, Jesus. If you just roll back the curtain of memory, just around five seconds, I remember where we started out and where we are today. Nobody would have to pump you to give God some praises. But you have to say, God, good. And you have to say, God, good. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. And so, Anna, my God, Ruth was living unto mouth. Scrapses. Scrapses. My God. And this rich man would admire her and look at her every day. I want to tell you that while you're picking up your scrapses, there's a king observing you. Hallelujah. I said there is a king observing you. While I was speaking of my scraps, there was a king observing me. And I didn't know that God was getting ready to let me walk in my wealthy place. My God. I said some people right now, it seems like you're picking up scraps. But I tell you that the king is watching you. And because the king is watching you, he's going to get ready, my God, to call you to walk in your wealthy place. There was a radical switch. And the flip, the, the, the script was flipped. Her file came from the bottom to top. Just like that. Just somebody said, just like that. I want, I want to turn everybody in this house into a prophet tonight. Or a prophetess. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is going to flip your script. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Come on, if you believe it, give God some praise. If you believe it, give God some praise. I said, if you believe it, give God some praise up in this house tonight. If you believe. Somebody say hallelujah. I want to tell you this tonight. There are some people here tonight. You are working with people for so long. But God said he's getting ready to flip the script and when you flip the script you won't be receiving a paycheck but you'll be writing somebody paycheck and adding that paycheck to somebody that God is getting ready to turn over that business place to you and you want to be the owner you want to be the employer and not the employee because you are the head and not the tail you are above and not the lead. hallelujah Jesus and so, and so God flipped the script. My God. There was another young man in the Bible by the name of Joseph. Joseph was highly favored by his daddy. And because he was highly favored by his daddy, you must understand that when you are highly favored, one of the symptoms that come with it is ready, I bad mind and grudgeful and envy. My God, I say when you are favored by God, it's not everybody going to love you. You may want a family member go here too. When you are favored by God, but I come to tell it tonight, so them can't stop you. Because if God is for you, who can be against you? You're like a runaway chain. You're a force to be reckoned with. You cannot be stopped. In the name of Jesus. And so, and so Joseph, um, um, everything that God, that God, God give a little preps in the future. I'm going to tell you what was Joseph's problem. And it's most of us problem. You need to be godly, godly, and not talky, talky. Yeah. Sometimes you talk too much. When God gives you a vision, hallelujah, you must walk at the vision with prayer and fasting and stop walking and tell everybody your vision because you have some people out there. They are nothing but vision killer and all they want to do is kill your vision. Hallelujah. And they want to sow a seed of discouragement. But God said, keep on your mouth. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. One time the Lord spoke to me about a, a t-shirt, a Goddy Goddy clothes line, t-shirts. And I just go everywhere and say, oh, God is going to bless me with a t-shirt ministry. Oh, I got enough all different size of t-shirt, long sleeve, short sleeve, turkey neck, pigeon neck, all size of neck, bird neck, drunken neck, all type of neck. And I'm going to put them out. I'm going to put Goddy Goddy on it. And some people come to me and say, oh, no, man of God, that won't work. I don't think so. They ain't going to buy no neck, this, no neck, that here. I think you should go in a different business. And I said, okay, maybe it's flesh. I wasn't hearing from God. And two weeks after, me sit down with the same turkey neck and the same drunken neck. With fit them name on it, my God. I said, God will give you a vision, and God will give you a dream, and God will drop something in your spirit. And when you talk too much, there are some people who want to take your vision and run with it. And when they run with your vision, they are going like them to get the vision. My God, but God says, getting ready to make you recover all in the name of Jesus Christ and everything that the enemy stole from you. God is getting ready to restore to you a hundred fold. Hallelujah! Somebody say a hundred fold. And so Joseph, he was shown on in a pit and they treat him so bad and he was crying and he was saying, my God, brothers, why have you done this to me? What have I done to you? What have I done to you? Why are you trying to kill me, brother? Take me out of this pit. And he cried, he said, brothers, please take me out. And they wouldn't take him out. But I tell you that when you are in a pit, God will send somebody your way. My God, and when that person comes, they're going to have some money upon them. My God, and they're going to sell you out. But when them sell you out, don't worry yourself because God is going to send you into a place called Egypt. And when you reach Egypt, you're going to be a party for my God. That is going to make you be ruler over many in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, don't worry yourself. It's not all you start the race, but all you finish the race. I said, goodness, grace, and mercy shall follow you all the day of your life. I don't worry myself because everywhere I go, I don't walk alone. I said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost to me. In me, and I was a young I tell Satan back up tonight. I said, No weapon that farm against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rise against me in judgment shall be condemned. I said, One shall chase a thousand, and two shall put ten thousand to flight. And the weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but mighty true God to be pulling down a stronghold. Somebody say, Pull it down, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down, pull, pull, pull. pull. a trial and when you go to a trial and, and, and you go through that trial you believe that all is well now hallelujah I've been through so much trial, so much test. There are so many things look like it was designed to kill you. But God said to tell you tonight, it's only a test. My God, I say it is only a test. I come to tell somebody tonight, it's only a test. That thing that look like it designed to kill you, is only a test. And if you feel the test, you're going to do the test again. And if you feel the test, you're going to have to do the test again. And if you feel the test, you're going to have to do the test again. Quit whining, quit murmuring, quit complaining. But when the test comes, just say thank you, Jesus. I bless you, Lord. God, I don't understand what you're doing. But I worship you, Jesus. Because all things work together for good. Hallelujah. The Bible said that a righteous man step is harder. I said, it's too under the bill that refuse. He's getting ready. There was a lady so broke and hungry, she could barely find food. And the prophet called her to the pulpit and he said, Woman of God, God is going to make you into a millionaire. And she looked at the prophet and she said, Oh, prophet, they don't know what you're talking about. I'm like root. I'm living on to mount. Just picking up scraps. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen a wealth from the day of my barn. All I see is tribulation, suffering, disaster, hungry night, and sickness. I don't know what you're talking about. I 
and the prophet said, woman of God, would you believe? And she said, all right, prophet, let me just make up my mind and believe with you then, yes, I'm going to be wealthy instantly. Her cell phone rang, and when her cell phone rang, it was a lawyer on the other line, and he said, woman of God, you got some people down in Carolina somewhere down there, and they just died, they died the other day, and we have been searching for you, and we couldn't find you, but there are so much estate down there with your name on it, and not only estate, but all of the estate of Isle and the estate, I said Isle is getting ready to spill in somebody's life tonight, I said the Isle is getting ready, hallelujah, <laughs> Jesus, why you think, why you think, why you think there's so much war in the world today? They're fighting for power. They're fighting for oil. Turn to your neighbor and say they're fighting for oil. Would that one be cooking oil, gas oil? They're fighting for oil. Mm. I don't for cursing oil or Vaseline, but they're fighting for oil. Why the church come under so much attack? Because the devil is fighting for oil also. The devil is fighting for your oil. Your oil is your anointing. And the enemy wants your anointing so bad. That's why you go through so much hell and high water. From the day you're born, you just go through tribulation. One tribulation after the other. And it seems like nothing now. Uh, my God. But I said when you're going somewhere, the enemy going to come at you. If you're a Christian uh, and you don't have a tribulation. Uh, and you don't have a problem. Uh, it simply means you're Satan and you're free of you. Uh, and you're not ashamed in the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. But when something is up on you, the enemy going to come at you full force. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Christ, uh, I said, if you are. I soon start preaching. Hold on. Back in Jamaica, when I used to teeth like a puss, if you put milk in coffee, I will take it out. Somebody said, Oh, you're not a preacher? Mixing Milo with a rich condensed milk. And as he turned it back to get a slice of toast, he would say, oh, the tea tea, sir. Milk gone. <laughs> a squeeze of lemon in that thing, a whole heap of lime juice. And the milk just cuddle up. Come up on the top, and I take a strain and take it off. Fall and no one said the egg them gone. When I used to remember when my friend used to broke into people's house and, and people are some big bad Dover man and some German shepherd. Let me tell you something, dog love sardine. Mr. Dog love sardine. Can you send I? We just cut a tin of sardine, mama. And we don't cut the tin. We just barely bust the tin. Someday the whole night I try to dig out the tin and we inside I dig out the house. Somebody said thief. Somebody said thief. Somebody said thief. You ain't talking about me. For the Bible says for any man being in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. And all things are becoming new. tonight yes. you like when I'm preaching yes. oh preaching, if you don't like come and pray that's your business yes. I didn't come here to please nobody yes. I come here to preach the word of God yes. so whether you want to like it is your business you're not lucky yes. but when I was out there I didn't have no fear for nobody at all 
I don't care who you want to be. Me not afraid of no, but me say me fearless. Me fearless. Let me teach you something, cause I, I study you know. Don't 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 do show me such trees. Hey, it's your girl Abigail. Hamilton, and you're watching Breaking Stevie with Minister Gotti Gotti. Don't move. We'll be right back. Keep it locked. This is the Break Loose TV with Gotti Gotti, the man of God, powerful, dynamic man of God. Don't you miss that dial. Re -re Rewind and come again. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Tell me whom shall I fear? You're watching Break Loose TV with Minister Gotti Gotti. Don't you touch that dial. Yeah man, this is Ryan Mark, a.k.a. Israel, and you're watching Break Loose TV. Remember that. Don't think I'm an idiot. I'm very intelligent. Don't play with me. God call fool, but he don't keep them. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Bless God. But I didn't fear anybody. One thing I know that when you fear, let me tell you this, the spirit of fear is what damaging our church today. Yeah? Because the opposite of faith is fear. Now you must understand if you abbreviate the words fear, what you will get is false evidence appearing real. But it's not real, it's just a false evidence. I don't know about up here, but in Jamaica we got some nice roads down there. You now, if you don't come down, for, you need to calm down. <laughs> let, let, let me let me get my let me get my accent right. No, not my accent, my accident right now. I say when you come into Jamaica, don't bother feel like it's only America. I've told, we got told too. We got one in Portmore. We got one, one, one going to Main Pen and we got one into Portmore. And I tell the government we don't need no more. Because those tolls are designed to broke your pocket. But when I'm driving and I wear 2,000, when I look down the road, the road always have water. The road always look like there is water in the road. But as soon as I come down, I realize the water move on and further out. And it don't matter how long me I drive, we just can't reach the water. But what really happened, it was that the sun would eat the asphalt and it create an illusion and it make it look like water. That's far as evidence appearing real. What the enemy plan for your life is just a reflection, my God, of your past. It's in your life and create an illusion and make it look like a disaster. But I want to tell you, if you continue driving at the end of the road, there is a reward there for you. In the name of Jesus, just continue to press. And if you press, God will take you out victorious. Tell the neighbor, I'm victorious. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? I mean, I don't even start touch this message yet, but I'm going to hijack it right as now. I'm going to pull up. I'm not going to preach. I'm not a preacher that preached too long. Because I believe that he who preach and run away will live to preach another day. Yeah. Hallelujah. I promise I'll preach twice harder if you all come back tomorrow. You all going to come back tomorrow? Yeah, let me see the hands of all who coming back tomorrow. My God, you better come early. Because who never come tonight when you're here you won't get no seat when you come. Hallelujah. But I just thank God. I really thank God for my life. I've been through so much, so much. And I'm going to share my testimony tomorrow more in depth. I've been through so much. There was cancer in my head. Doctor, write me off. Said me dead, me dead, me dead, me dead, me dead. See the man with him said dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I really want to share my testimony in depth with you tomorrow. Hallelujah. And then Friday, I'm going to give you a little something, 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 a little treat, you know? You know, like, you know, like a little, a little try and hold on for your victory and them sort of stuff and thing, and, you know, just bring the young people out. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you tonight, I want to encourage somebody tonight that you didn't start out the way or you intend to start out. But I've seen a lot of race where when the race starts, a man get the water of the black like you see in Bolt and take off around the field. 
and a little man start out slow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the man will take off and run the race, get tired and slow down. But the man with a perseverance and he continue to run the race. He is the one who come back and win the race. My God. I said the, 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 the enemy intends to weary out. The enemy intends to do all sort of things. He wants to eat you with discouragement. He wants to eat your finances. He wants to eat your family. My God. I say he wants to eat you with so much thing. Husband get trouble. My God. I say if your husband get trouble here is some anointed in this house tonight. If he does arrest him and harass him and pull him out the house and make him start love him wife because they're going to be a radical switch in the name of Jesus Christ you have some people in here could you do with some more money my God I said could you use some more money tonight I said could you use some more money tonight oh you can't use some more money well I could use some more money because back in Jamaica I have some hungry belly picking down the feed so I need more money gospel take money and if I'm going to preach this gospel I can't go into the inner city and I tell hungry belly people about Jesus love you yes he do the Bible say oh. and young but hungry I kill them but I'm going to do it like Jesus I'm going to give them a little fish and I'm going to give them some bread and when them belly full I'm going to push gospel upon them hallelujah in the name of Jesus hallelujah And so Joseph brother, they intend to destroy him. But the man of God didn't know that God only has set him up. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. I say every setback is a setup for a comeback. When you feel like you're down and out, God is just getting ready to flip your script. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. And so Joseph, Joseph was eaten by his brothers. And every time Joseph would come, they said, there goes the dreamer. You're walking on your workplace tomorrow. And when you walk in, some people say, here goes the dreamer. Because your vision is big. But some people can't understand your vision. Hallelujah. People said, preacher, why you wear dark glasses at night? I said, my future is so bright. I need something dark for look at it. I don't want my future to blind me. My God. I said, my future is big. And we sit in Jamaica every day and talk about, oh my God, I just want to preach in Jamaica. Jamaica is a tiny something on the map. Yeah. God said, we forgot to the world. The world is not Jamaica. Yeah. The world big. Yeah. People in Europe forget save. Yeah. People in all over forget save. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so Joseph was in Patiphar's house. And Patiphar, you see, you must understand, men, let me talk to the men a little bit. When you are anointed and you are appointed, wives better step up to the plate and fix up your husband when he said he needs fixing up. Because if you don't fix him up, I just bell going to want to fix him up. But I say you better fix up that man. Let me get a little radical now. Because you have some ladies and every little thing happening, no matter about a Satan, everything people blame Satan. It's not everything. Is a devil. Somebody tell you, my God. I said, I said, somebody said, I said, Satan, sit down out of the church door and Satan about And somebody turned to Satan and said, Satan, why are you crying? And it's a church people just lie. Everything them say, I mean, do it. And sometimes I never did it. I mean, I have nothing to do it. When you have a husband and you don't want to fix up the husband, you don't want to cook up him dinner and game, you don't want to take care of the man, you don't want to rub the man's foot. And it's a vice versa thing now. Because the husband must do the same for the wife, my God. I said, when my wife come in from a hard day at work, she now have to ask for nothing at all because I have everything ready for her upon a platter. And I said, baby, lift up your foot upon the asshole. And I just rub her towards my God and I fix her up. And I said, baby, where's Aiken? I would take out my special oil and I would oil her down, my God. And I would rub her down and I take my shaman and I shine her off. And I said, baby, what do you need now? And I would fix her up. And just as how I fix her up, she would fix me up back too. But if you have your husband, and you now fix up your husband, and you have your wife, and you now fix up your wife, I say, just be out of road, I get ready for fixing up. My God, I say, you better stand up to your own responsibility. Because when the man gone, you can't come to but I say, you can do it, or you will do it. You must fix up the man. Hallelujah! That one hurt. We know some people now come back tomorrow because they want the earth. Somebody say hallelujah. But we say you basically say you fix up your partner. Too much. Too much.
much pop down marriages is in Christendom because people not fulfilling their obligation. Hallelujah. Am I right? If you ever say, oh, me deal with my wife. Sometimes I treat her like a money queen. I say, baby, just pose and she just. I'm just dust her down like a figurine. Fix her up. And one month me up here, you know, and she said, baby, I'm coming up. She can't stay away from me. You're mad, me say me a magnet. She have to follow me. Hallelujah. And so Jezebel came in to fix Joseph's business. But the man of God said, I will not sin against my God. I'm going to walk upright. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this, because I'm radical. I, I don't hide nothing. That's why people love me, because I talk it how it is. Amen. It's a whole heap of place, my God. And when my God, let me tell you something. You see the wedding band, I mean, I left it. Amen. Anytime I say, ladies, I look at me too hard. Every minute, well, I don't, I don't pop every minute, I stay, sir. Jesse 